What is up, creator? It is awfully good to see you. I'm going to teach you how to add music to a video on a PC. We are going to do it the absolute easiest way possible so that you can get up and running immediately. Let's get some. Okay, assuming that you have Windows 10 and everything is working correctly on your computer, all you have to do is go into the search bar at the lower left-hand corner and type in Video Editor. And there is a default program that resides inside your operating system called the video editor. It's a blue icon with a piece of film with mountains on top of it. Just double click it and open it up and you're presented with the video editor. This is a very, very simple program to use. It's really easy. You're going to love it. So just click the new video project button in the upper left hand corner and you are asked to name your project. So in this case, I will name it Scott's project and hit OK. And now the next step is to add some videos. Now I'm only going to want to add one video in this example because I just want to keep it simple here. So I will drag in my video, which is a video of people cutting wood. I got it off of YouTube. It's commercial free. So I'm now upon dragging that into the project library, I'm going to drag it into the storyboard, which will allow me to see it in the preview. And as you can see, there's a little circle that you can drag and it gives you sort of a cue or a preview where you are in the video. Okay. And I'm explaining this because we're going to be using this in just a second. So that's great. You can add more videos naturally. I'm just sticking with one for now. I'm now going to add some music by clicking the custom audio button in the upper right hand corner. And it presents you with this screen. And on the right hand side, there's a way to add your music. And all you have to do is grab your MP3 and drag it right into that vertical bar on the far right. Now, remember I talked about that circle? Well, here it is again at the bottom of the screen, and you can put this thing wherever you want the music to start. So if I wanted the music to start sort of one-eighth in, I can see the part of that video visually, and then I can drag the song right to that point. So that's the beginning of the song, and it will start at that point. That's the sole purpose of the two handles, the bottom handle and the top circle. But in this case, I'm just going to start it at the beginning. So I'll cue it up to the beginning and drag the song to the beginning just so it starts where I want it to start. I will now hit done. And now I will click finish video in the upper right hand corner. And it asks me what quality. Now I highly recommend that you select 1080p. That's the sort of the default good version of a video for YouTube if you're using YouTube. So click export and it will prompt and ask you where you want to save it. In this case, I will save it to my downloads folder and hit export. And now it begins to export. And there it is. Yes. If you're new to the channel, you can think of me as a video software technology explorer. I'm on a constant quest to find all the cool software to make your videos super engaging and super cool to your audience. If you like what you hear, subscribe and click the bell for new video notification every single week. Now that brings us to the next piece of software that I'm going to review. Just click this link right here and what it's going to do is very easily allow you to grab videos from YouTube effortlessly. It is easy to use. You're going to love it. Regardless, best wishes, stay strong, keep fighting. I'll see you on the flip side. Best wishes.